So thought is fragmentary, right? I wonder if you see all this. Mm, come on. So whatever it does must be frag fragmented, 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 right? Do we see this? I wonder if you do. Thought is a fragment. Thought is limited. Thought is conditioned. Thought is narrow. Because thought is based on experience, mem knowledge, which is the past, which is time binding. Right? So that which is time binding is necessarily limited. Therefore, it's, thought is fragment. Right? Right, sir? So thought can never understand that which is whole. Thought can never understand that which is immeasurable, which is timeless. The timeless, the immeasurable, one can imagine. Thought can say, put up all kinds of imaginary future structures, but it is still limited. So God, pro, thought, put together by thought, is God is limited, right? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm afraid those of you who believe in God won't see this, because your God is the result of your thought, of your fears, of your desire to be secure. And you might say, has not God created all nature? Talk to the scientists and they'll tell you about it. Biologists and the theoretical physicists and so on. So thought, whatever, please see the truth of this and you will, clarity will come like like a sun out of the clouds. That thought is word, and the word is never the thing. The word is the description of the thing, but the thing is not the description. Right? So you have to then find out to have to be, fear becomes then completely in, useless, it has no meaning. Then you have to find out whether, stop, whether thought can ever remain in its field, you understand? And not move out of that field. To register, because this, that's the function of the brain, to register so that it can be secure, so that it can be safe. Right? It is safe, secure in the field of knowledge, because that's the function of the brain accumulating knowledge so as to be secure in that field, because you can't live without security. Food, clothes and shelter one must have, not the few but the many, all. And that's only possible when <coughs> thought only operates there. And when it does not register in any other direction, there is then no nationality, there is no you and me. 
I don't know if you see, right? There is no division. Because thought, then there is, when there is no registration, the mind is free to look, right? The mind is free to observe. And when there is that clarity, skill never becomes mechanical. You understand, sir? Because there is functioning always from that clarity. Whatever the skill be, it's functioning, acting from that clarity which is born out of compassion. 